WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the world at stake. No shots fired yet. Floyd goes to work with the jab in the face. Austin's right in front of him. Floyd showing his early speed. Austin not panicking. Floyd able to get in there. Austin showing quickness and pulling out. No punches have landed yet. Austin's lining up where he might go. And a quick cross on the shot by Floyd Mayweather. Austin has the throw big blow yet. A couple of little jabs. Mayweather does what he does. Just box, box, box. Tap, tap, tap. Now he's got him in the corner. He fades him here with the shot. And the crowd goes to Sony. Very pumps from Austin De La Hoya crowd. That left hook money punch, he tried to tap that seven times. That's his shot. He needs to catch Floyd Mayweather with that to, to be the big factor. Austin, not as busy as he has been. Remember, he averages in the last 18 fights 50 punches around. He's not at that uh, work output at this stage. That was a good left hook by Mayweather. Mayweather getting through more shots. Austin trying to line up something big. Line up something big. The tank goes up for Austin. Electricity in this arena. Unbelievable. So far, Oscar really hasn't cut him up. You see what Shane's talking about, keeping those legs close together. He doesn't have that big spread. But feet get tied up by both guys. And usual when you have two orthodox fighters. Floyd just able to punch on him, Dave. And look at a right hand lead by Mayweather as he shifted over to the side. Just effortless that he was able to get that going. Mayweather is in the groove already. Moving, going laterally, firing hooks, and firing lead right hands as he circles. And he knows that Delahoy is trying to put the hook on him. Uh, he's he's facing his right foot back with left to avoid the left hook. But has got a good right hand in his arsenal, too. He's going the right hand lead now and then. And some body shots are almost like smothered by Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather is so good defensively. It's so hard to execute against him. He's a tremendous, tremendous athlete. Loads up the right hand and it whistles past the belly button. Strategic battle so far in a battle that Mayweather's winning here with 15 seconds to go in round one. Kenny Bailey says keep those punches up. You see the time remaining in the first round. The Colonel along here with Dave Von Temple. Wherever you are, the anticipation is over. It's here. It's happening. A strategic battle in the first round. Made with a punch shot. Austin trying to cut him off. He did a pretty good job, but he missed that shot. Anytime he does anything, the crowd comes to uh, almost with feet. Well, Oscar De La Hoya has to gamble, and I think he has to make a statement early in the fight, maybe by this round, that, that Flynn Mayweather is in for the toughest fight of his life. He needs to do that. All those shots, just one glancing blow, see, and I broadcast over 10,000 fights. That's a strong statement. Better than Ali. His defense is better than Ali when Ali was in his prime. Better than Ray Leonard. by Mayweather as well, but he has to try and establish a tempo. Yeah, he was setting things up and eyeing things in the first round, and now he has to go after Floyd Mayweather and just see what develops. Hey, listen, I don't think Floyd can hurt him. If I'm Oscar, I'm gonna load up shots. I agree with you, Dave. Put your ears back and just go after him. Also, you want to bring the crown into this fight if you're Oscar De La Hoya. This is your house. You want this house to rock, so you have to go after Floyd Mayweather and try to get this crowd into it on your behalf. Well, I tell you, what Shane Mosley told me, Austin does have his feet closer together. Two things happen. He can drive on his back, get more power in the jab, and he can cut the guy off quicker because he doesn't have to take exaggerated steps. So it's working. He's got the guy pinned. Let's see if he can nail him. Now, he's too quick. He slides down the ropes. Austin's going to line him up again. Sneak right hand knee, but he paid for that one. It's a tough round to score with 51 seconds to go. Back and forth, the jab in the face of Austin. But the jab doesn't hurt. He's got to control it. As a couple of guys really done the job in this round as far as stepping it up over the last round and, and, and making this the round in which he has to make a statement in terms of intensity. He can. I think De La Hoya's won this round. Yeah, no, he did. Yeah, 
good left hook that time to make it the, the power of Oscar. Oscar trying to pressure him all the time. It's Oscar who's forcing the fight. Sneaky right hand. Well, he has to, and he has to make Mayweather fight under adversity for the first time in his life. Mayweather has never had to fight backing up and under adversity. And here's De La Hoya on him again, and his fight plan is starting to work. He's backing him up. He caught him. He caught him with a shot. Now Oscar backs up, gets into some room, resets, goes with his own jab. He needs left hook, right hand, steps up, punches the shot. Oscar firing on him. Yeah, he's really coming through. He's Firing through his jab and then putting the shots together. He's lining up, trying to be analytical, and then firing on Mayweather. Already we're seeing some things that have not been evident in Mayweather's other fights. In that he's on. Don't worry about hitting the jab, I say. Just take it and go right after. Throw the right hand lead. Oh, you almost really forcing the fight, Tony. And this was that in this style being forced on him. Now Shane also told me that he'll throw the jab jab to the right side of his face, not taking a hit. in a trailing fashion. He's done his X's and O's homework. He knows how he has to beat Floyd Mayweather. And in rounds two and three, he's executed. Usually, but remember in professional boxing, it's how heavy the punches are. Now there's no question, all the statistics in the past 18 fights indicate that Oscar throws more, but Floyd lands at a higher percentage of rates of punches. So if he's throwing 40, he's landing probably 35 punches. He's very, very accurate. Now to the judges see the accuracy of what I call shoe shine punches or the power of what De La Hoya is doing. That's a subjective way that they score boxing. Round three will be the perfect example for the fact that De La Hoya has the crowd into it the way he needs to. He's got Floyd Mayweather reacting to him, which he also needs to do. And Mayweather has to fight instinctively on the defensive, and it's, it's a treat to have to see him do this. Oh, the boy on the assault. In the red trunks. Floyd in the colors of the Mexican flag to surprise everybody and sing the plan. What a dream that he came up with the Mexican colors. Mayweather, is he doing enough? He's accurate with the punches he throws. Austin continues to punch him. This is a ring being cut off by De La Hoya. You see the last time I met him. Austin De La Hoya is on him. But he's laying a lot of knives. He's firing that hook. Mayweather just smiles at him. On the inside, and he says, Come on in here. Austin's not, not intimidated by this guy whatsoever. Mayweather seems to be having fun with Austin. Now he comes back. Now he lines up, and Austin backs up. There's the hand speed of Floyd. And he measures it with that left hand. He sticks it out. Again, that punch is blocked. A lot of punches being thrown by Floyd are being blocked by Austin. Austin's got a terrific fight play. That one wasn't blocked. And now, though, what Mayweather's doing, he got De La Hoya off him with these last eight punches. He turned the momentum of the round around. And De La Hoya on him. Because Larry broke the book. Watch the left hook here. Here he comes. Boom, boom. And, you know, he's actually do count on there. Even if they're getting through a look at them, he's being tied up in seven shots in a row. And you know what? This is uh, And those body shots, as we get through five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe begin to take a toll. Really he hasn't been offensive minded yet. Power shots 33 to 29 in favor of Mayweather through the full round. So we're going to load up in equal measure as we get into the second third of the fight. See, a lot of the punches are supposed to be in the back of the gloves. And I don't know if the guys are coming to touch the that is a, as an end of a score or what. Those will be a flop. The judges don't count that. Watch the name with the hook. When he's able to walk through guys, he'll throw the hook and then a follow up with the right hand. Here, when he throws the hook, Del Hoy cuts off the ring and comes back at him. Now that time I was through a series of punches, something really landed. They were just so slick with that situation. Impressed me so much. He is a professional. Right hand lead. Oscar a little bit squared up. But he's, he's in that position, folks, because he doesn't want this guy to run. He wants to engage in the seventh ring if he can. Floyd's having his best moment since the first round, by the way. Here he is, punch shot from Oscar. Nice right hand. Good left hook. Oscar taking a few shots in this fifth round. It's a very good round for Mayweather. Oh, he really wants Oscar. 
basket coming in. Yeah, he did. He got him with a good right hand. I don't think he's hit the power to drop it. But he's certainly got his attention to that right hand. Nice, fast pace to this fight. This is a terrific round for Mayweather. If Austin did, in fact, get it two, three, and four in the judges' score sheet, he's not getting this round. There's a right hand lead. Austin's not putting the pressure on him as much as he was. Now he tries it, goes to the body, back up stairs, chopping right hand, cut him again. And good shots by De La Hoya. Yeah, yeah. That's an even up the round, right back up scored. Good right hand, two good right hands by Mayweather. Boy, this is really, really good fight. It's really interesting. Seesaw, back and forth. Two tremendous athletes. Austin doesn't have the hand speed, but he has the ball. of this fight, folks, is very, very fast. Oscar's, uh, you know, four years older, been in a lot of tough fights. Mayweather, this is his biggest stage ever. And he's performing admirably. I think he's winning this sixth round. This is the most he's ever been hit, and he's still standing up well. Coming back and loading up the release guy, and then delivering it. Oscar really didn't land much of anything yet. One pretty good shot there. Mayweather outboxing it now. Mixing it holiday. So he's trying to capitalize on it. Trying to win some fans over by doing that. But he did win. Here's Oscar. Got him with the right hand. Here he is getting off first again. This is what Oscar has to do. He just smiles at him. He's yeah, keeping it clean. Going with the hand speed. Crashes to the back of the skull. Mayweather took the first minute of the round off. Try to steal it at the end, but this has been uh, De La Hoya's round. And you know, maybe each guy will have to take one of these throughout the next six rounds. And perhaps Mayweather just decided this one is his. But this is uh, a very good one for De La Hoya here in round seven. With a minute to go in round number seven. Oscar having a good seventh round. Jab, jab, is point right back. Teddy says keep him up. Two good body shots on the line by Floyd. Oscar going downstairs looking for the right hand. Bang, bang, he doesn't get in that right hand. But this is a guy that he decided to fight in spurts. And this is a easy round for Dallas. Now there's certainly a good round with 10 seconds to go. Austin wants to put an explanation point on him. He's doing that. Floyd was doing all the grinning and pulling around. He gave this round away. That's a bell in the second. Two different style fighters that kind of punch with the speed. With a little bit more power, out of the judges' way, the close round. One guy's a little bit more power, but the punch stats don't seem to add up to what I'm seeing. No, what? They, they're giving you numbers, they, they will not give you attention. I'm going to decide this. Yeah, Double Hoyt is firing much more. The punch is landed. 
are about the same. And if that's the way it ends up, the edge usually goes to the guy that throws the ball. The Oscar, as I said, in his last 18 fights, he's been averaging 50 punches a round. And Mayweather averages 40 in his last 18 fights. But Mayweather lands one. Look at this. Oscar on the assault. Position, it would be a negative that he would have to overcome, and he's battling with that. Well, Oscar again, he's making a mistake of allowing him to come in the kill zone without throwing. I know he wants to counter him, he catch him coming in with either the left hook or straight right hand. But, and that's possibly tough. Those punches are all part of the box. They look good from the car, but up here they're not that good. There's nothing wrong with jamming your way in. You can still try to counter the guy here. It's a low percentage move as the fight goes along. Yeah, we're in the eighth round now. Remember, Austin does have a history of getting tired. Also being fucked. They look nice from afar. But they're far from nice. You know what I mean? All right. They look good. They look pretty. If Austin doesn't make the mistake, see, he makes the mistake again of lingering in the field. And then he, he gets paid. Twice. And he pays for it twice. He's got to get in and get out. And also, I don't like the angles he's coming in. Too straight ahead. He needs to work out the shoulders a little bit more. But of course the problem is he has to cut him off. So he's probably satisfied when he's got him in his sight right in front of him. See, that's a make a point. Oh, See so the angle? Yeah, go ahead there. Yeah, now Mayweather's able to dance out that time. He is showing Mayweather to dance out of difficulty. This is a full stop, but I think off the front. Here's Mayweather taking the Delahoya shot from left hook. Slowly around and toward the end. Delahoya did a good job pouring it on and getting it around. He got him in a good corner. Remember, remember Larry Holmes? Austin's got him. Keeping the pressure on him. Austin's winning the inside fight game. The only mistake that he's making is he's not always strong when he's coming in. When he does, he scores. Fast hands of uh, Floyd. Again, we're seeing true to that script. If you had to give me a choice, I'd rather have the higher attempted numbers when push came to shove. That would fade to Delahoya right now. He's the one getting off first on the last four to five rounds of this fight. Why hasn't Floyd opened up more? They start to wait. Well, Oscar needed just this. Another one of these flurries. It seems like he gets one of the flurries up to put a good shot on the inside. This kid's a great athlete, though. You can see that post is breaking a lot of those points to the back of his left glove. Well, that's a good right hand body shot. Again, Oscar lingering in the deal. See that? Avoid Mayweather now. Oscar totally focused. Again, he makes a mistake. Walsing into the kill zone without throwing. And he pays. Every time he's going to you know he's going to take this job. Okay. Besides this, that one gets through. He still doesn't want to be straight in front of Floyd Mayweather when he's in the kill zone. Well, you know, get a parking ticket and get out of there because he doesn't want to be right in front. He needs the angle before he started being there. Now remember, when he sets in, Floyd makes mistakes. 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 Floyd makes m